That is May 2014, question number one. May 2014, question number one. So they have given us assets. I can see A, B, C, D. And then there is a, a risk-free asset, like treasury bills. They have given me the weights. They have given me current returns. They have given me beta coefficients. The moment they give me beta coefficients, I know that I'm in CAPM. And if I'm in CAPM and they have given me beta, the first thing that I'll do is to write for my examiner the formula, the CAPM formula. So could you write for me the formula for capital asset pricing model? The CAPM formula is not a hard formula. I'm writing the CAPM formula because the examiner has given me beta coefficients. So my CAPM formula, the returns of the security, CAPM returns of the security will be equal to risk free plus expected returns of the market minus risk free. Remember in this case here, this is the risk free plus the risk premium. Risk premium must be multiplied by a risk factor. The risk factor under CAPM is what is somebody the bit? The beta like that. The beta, beta like that. Now the moment I see, I see beta, I know it's CAPM. Now they, uh, they've given me the overall return on the market portfolio. Return on the market portfolio. I can call that the expected return of the market portfolio, which in this case here equals what here? 11%. 11%. Which is 11% like that. 11%. And this is expected to continue for the foreseeable future. So they want me to give them the portfolio current return and the portfolio what here, somebody? Beta. That's an examiner who is wishing me success. Because the moment he talks of portfolio return, portfolio return, a good student will simply remember that eh, a portfolio is a combination of what he He has combined various assets, A to risk free. So what I will do, I will basically come on top of the returns of all those assets, but remember, those assets are coming to us in the form of proportions. They, they are weighted. So what I will do here to get, in this case, the portfolio return, I'll take the weights here of the securities, times what here, somebody, the returns of the what? And then I do what here? So because portfolio is kidogo kidogo. We have a security A, return planning, proportion yake, like that. So you take the proportionate returns and then you sum them up. So this one will end up giving us, what, are you going to see those returns there? Like I can see the first one there, I can see 12 versus the weight. Are you going to see the weight there is 20%? Remember which we prefer weights adding up to 1, eh? So that 20% will be 0 0.2. Is that okay? So here I will take 0 0.2 times the return of A. The return of A is 12. The return of A is 12 plus, take in this case here the next one, which is 0 0.1. For B, are you able to see the weight of B is 0 0.1? 10%, 0 0.1 times, uh, in this case, what we have there, 0 0.1 times what here? Ah, uh, no, you guys are not following. 0 0.1 times 18 plus what you are following? 0 0.15 times what here? 14 plus 0 0.25, 0 0.25 times what here? 8 plus, lastly, 0 0.3, isn't it? 0 0.3 times what here? Times 5. In this sitting, the students who uh, failed uh, in this sitting, most of them decided to leave out the risk free asset. They said to leave out the last one. They only took A, B, C, and D. Why should you leave out an asset and yet they giving you a return, a contribution in your portfolio? We have to take up all of them. We have to take up all of them. So what do we have there, somebody? My brother is getting nine points. Is that what you got? Someone else could. He has a different figure, right? Bernard, what are you getting? 9.8. Rather, let's check. So they wanted us to give them two things. 
portfolio return and what here portfolio return. What do you think in this case here are we going to do to get this portfolio beta? Now you know here you get students still talking about cover. No, 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 no. You know a portfolio is a combination. We are combining in the investments. And in the event of you seeing the examiner giving you the beta, individual beta coefficients of the projects that are make up the portfolio, then my work is simple. What I simply come and do here is to take the weights of the securities, multiply them by the bit of the securities, and then I do what here somebody? We sum them. The moment I appreciate the fact that uh, a portfolio is a combination, a combination of investments, then that is it. So what we have here somebody, the weights are the same. 0 0.2 times the beta factor of A. What is the beta factor of A? 1.5. 1.5 at the corner over there. Plus, we have the next one there, which is what here? Uh -huh. 0 0.1 times 2. 0 0.1 times 2. Plus, the next week there is 0 0.15. 0 0.15 times what somebody be following? Yeah. 1.2. Plus, the next week over there that I can see, which is what here, somebody? 0 0.25. So, 0 0.25 times what figure?
never uh, 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 separable. They are always one and the same, Kapem and Vita. So what I want us to do is to get Kapem for each one of those securities. Give us the Kapem return of project A. Kapem return of project A. Give us the Kapem return of project A. The Kapem return of project A. Do we have the risk free somewhere there? Have they given us the risk free rate? Very good. Many students are not able to pick that. But the return of this risk free asset, the return of the last asset, the return of the risk free asset is the one that becomes risk free rate. Which is what here, somebody? 5%. Most of them, after that sitting, they call me more. You taught us very well, but they gave us a question with an error. Which kind of an error? Never had the risk free rate, okay? Because it was over uh, Christmas period, not around the, the, the festivities. So I told them, yes, it was an error, but knowing that uh, that will add, uh, knock them off uh, the road. So 5% plus. Have they given us, in this case, the expected return of the market portfolio? Yes, we spoke of it in Syria. Minus, in this case here, this which is what here? Come and multiply outside here by the meter of A. What is meter of A, somebody there? 1.5. 1.5. So 1.5 like that. So could you kindly give us that one? Okay. 14, eh? So this gives us 14 like that. How about in this case here, CAPM for B, CAPM returns for B. I'll still have the same 5 plus 11 minus 5. The only thing that's going to change is the risk profile. The risk for B is different. What is the risk for B, somebody here? 2. 2, eh? So would you kindly give me that answer? 17. 17. Now because of my clip, my clip is normally very short, it allow me to demonstrate eh, how to carry out, in this case here, efficiency, just of these two securities, and then I'll leave you finishing eh, the other side. So how do we get this efficiency, this profitability? To get this profitability, ladies and gentlemen, we normally calculate these alpha values. So what we shall do, if it's project A, project A, I will go to the returns of project A given. The returns of project A given in the question there are, are what somebody there? Are you able to see the returns of project A from this formula? Are they 12? 12. Minus the CAPM returns of project A that I've calculated, which is what here somebody do? 14. So I'm taking in this case here the returns given for that particular project, which is what here? Current return 12. Minus the CAPM returns given, which is what here? Which will give us what figure somebody here? The moment it comes to a negative, this is a loss making project. And all loss making projects are inefficient. So A is inefficient. A is inefficient. A is inefficient. It's loss making. It's loss making. How about in this case here, the alpha for B? The alpha for B. Alpha for B, I may even need the total return of S. 18. 18, eh? 18 minus, what is the capital return of S? 17. Anything that posts a profit, regardless of how small it could be, how small it is, that is a super efficient uh, security. Super efficient security. That's a super efficient security. So long as it's positive, but it's a profit. That is super efficient. That is super efficient. Super efficient. That is super efficient. So I expect you to finish now all the others. You finish all the others up to the risk free asset. Up to the risk free asset. A, B, C, D. Risk free asset. Is that okay? So thank you very much. Again, I would want to take this opportunity to thank the online viewers. Remember, we have got online classes. You can enjoy these kind of sessions from wherever you are all over the world. Thank you very much.